everyone, Brickships1912 here, and today, I've got a different video today. This is sort of a response to a video I found not too long ago about the V-brake theory and how it is supported by physics. Now this is sort of going to be a Titanic Mythbusters thing, but a bit more experiment-wise. So I wanted to show how it is not supported by physics. So for this experiment you're going to need two tubs, only one with a lid. So the one with the lid is going to be a stern section. And the one without a lid is going to be a bow. Now you're going to want to cut a hole into the bottom side of the bow tub. Now be careful when you're doing this. If you're a kid, ask for some parents' help. Now, with that, you're going to want to cut out a bit of cardboard. Just so when you get your tape, you're going to put them bow here, stern there, right? So then you'd have the bow and stern. The cardboard there's sort of to act as a double bottom, but it's more there to stop this part sagging when the bow starts filling with water. It doesn't do a good job as you'll see in the footage of this actually sinking. So, you're going to want to tape across here, but have a little bit of a room so you can get your scissors when the time is right to cut off the bow for, to simulate the breakup. Now what you're going to want to do is tape the stern to the cardboard, not the bow, because the bow didn't stay. The cardboard's just there to, as I said, keep the whole thing together. Now, before you tape the lid onto there, you're going to want to put some coins or something, some sort of ballast. If you're Australian, I went like just a couple of 20 cent coins in each side, probably like five and then add like seven in the stern to simulate the engines. If you want to do that, you can just do five and five. Just enough to put that hole underneath the waterline. So then, once you've put it all together, we're going to go outside. Or if you're American, because it's probably getting a bit too cold to go outside, if you can, bathtub. Also, don't ruin your parents' tubs. Buy a $2 set. They're real cheap. I brought these on a from a two dollar store they're like five bucks for ten of them I don't know it was a while ago now but yeah now we're gonna go outside
one. There we have it. That is the Titanic Mythbusters episode two. A bit of a different one than what we were going for originally. But I do hope you enjoyed doing this experiment. I do hope it showed how the bow would have acted. And this was not meant to be accurate to the actual breakup of the RMS Titanic. This was to show that physics does not support Aaron 1912's V-break theory. It just baffles me that some people think it because of his falsifying survivor evidence, survivor accounts. Now, if you don't believe me, I will link two videos in the description by Titanic Animations. He's done a lot of this stuff debunking it. So, please like, comment, share, and definitely subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.